Welcome everyone to Tokyo, Japan, where after a weekend of incredible skating from the world's best, the top eight are set for a final showdown that will include rookies to super crown champions and is looking to be one of the most dramatic finals to date. Welcome to SLS Tokyo, presented by Nikon. We're inside Ariake Arena for stop two of the 2023 SLS Championship Tour. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone, and joining us. I'm Paul Zitzer, along with Sean Malto, and we have an incredible final about to start with six of the best skateboarders in the world here inside this building tonight. Let's take a look at who they are. First skater in tonight, taking that second chance qualifier spot, Jamie Foy, followed by the rookie, Daiki Ikeda, then Tommy Finn, Yuto Horagome, Nigel Houston, and Kelvin Hoffler. That is a serious lineup of heavy hitters, Sean. Who you liking? That is such a sick lineup, but I'm going with the hometown kid, Yuto Horagome. He won a gold medal down the street, and he had a great qualifying round, too. The tricks he was putting together, and we know he had a couple that he held back for the finals, so I can't wait to see everything he puts together. And Yuto's a final skater, and this is his time to shine, and of course, Kelvin Hoffler coming off his win in Chicago. It had been a long drought, but he was a 2015 Super Crown Champion, so he's proven he could do it then. He can still do it now. He's coming in fresh. He hasn't had to put in any work yet to be in this final. He did it back in Chicago. Kelvin Hoffler, can he do it again? We'll see. Taking a look at this beautiful California Skate Park design and built street course. Let's hear the skaters break it down in this course preview presented by Rumble Sports. Long route, because I don't know, I just like holding my tricks for a long time. It feels really good. Dude, the course is amazing, especially the long rail, you know, the long seat rail, you can you do like tech tricks and also have fun all day. So yeah, that was my third. You know, and then you definitely got flavor right here in the center, man. The big event, the main event, jump down the set. I love the course. Yeah, the Nikon sign, like the big obstacle. It's a bit scary, but once you get on it and the drop and you land it, it feels really, really nice. Yeah, the Nikon and the, the square rail is like a tie. They're kind of each good for their own tricks, you know what I mean? Okay, so I've been skating for 30 minutes only. Um, I would say the long flat bar. It's only been like an hour and a half in the practice, but Nigel's already put down some bangers. Midler's putting some stuff down. Those guys are both in my heat, so I better start putting some stuff down. All the women, like, the level is so good, and they're all flipping in, flipping out tricks. <laughs> yeah, everyone. So they're really, uh, really good. Definitely Mameji. Yeah, she's a beast. But uh, of course, everyone is ripping, dude. We got the best skaters in the world here, you know? Things are picking up here inside Ariake Arena. The skaters are just about set to go. But first, let's break down how this contest works with the basics brought to you by Tech Deck. There are two sections to Street League, the line section and the single trick section. Each skater gets two 45 second line attempts followed by five single trick attempts. Their top four scores count toward their final score. A maximum of one line score will count, but it is not required. Those are the basics brought to you by Tech Deck. The crowd is ready to go here in Tokyo. Now let's meet our skaters. Jamie Foy coming out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. 2018 Thrasher Skater of the Year. And the new kid. Winner of Tampa Am last year, keeping it going here in Tokyo, Daiki Ikeda. 
veteran, Tommy Finn. He took a long break from SLS. He came back, and he came back strong. He's in the final tonight. And the hometown hero, an Olympic gold medalist, six-time SLS winner, Utah Horagome. And of course, six-time Super Crown champ, Nigel Houston, trying to get his first win in a while after ACL surgery. And Kelvin Hoffler coming off a win in Chicago. Can he keep it going? Can he make it two in a row? We'll find out. Now we're gonna check in with the third member of our team, Andrew Cannon. Guys, it is tense down here. We've got three skaters that have never won here at SLS and three that have. I would love to see a new face at the top of the podium, but Yuto Horigomi has been skating around this course. He almost looks half asleep, but we know he's got more up his sleeves here in the finals. You've got Nigel Houston, who looks like he is in good condition and he wants a win, but Kelvin Hoffler, we haven't seen him skate yet, but watching him in practice, he looks like a well-oiled machine. We'll see what happens out here, but I think the skateboarding is going to be next level. Back to you. I think that's a safe bet. Thank you, Andrew. Six skaters. Sick skaters. Sick skaters. Jamie Foy will be first in. Out of the knockout rounds, he didn't win his group, but he had the highest point tally to win that second chance qualifier. And he is in for his first two lines. Oh, I love that fakey 5 up. That thing looked like it was starting to turn on him, but he hung on, popped it out. No problem. Clean. Definitely put together a solid start. I just think how much skating these guys have put in that came through the knockout round compared to Kelvin. A lot. Exactly. Uh, almost went revert on accident. So the same thing that happened to Jamie Foy in his two runs in the in the group stage. Half cap crook on the Nikon sign. But doing great work before that. I can just call that a fakey boy. Fakey boy. <laughs> I mean, based on the sweat stains of that hat, he's been putting in a lot of work. He has. Florida style. You don't even have to skate to get those stains. <laughs> Jamie Foy setting the pace out here. 5.6, first run score. Not great, something to build on. Judges being smart too though. Little man, big moves. He knows how to skate a contest. He was damn man of the year last year and then followed it up with a win at Tampa Am just like that, beat everyone. Here he is, his first SLS event ever and he's in the final. Lost his beanie on the first trick. Oh. Missing the flick on the kick flip back tail. Oh. That was clean. Love that hard flip. And the little shuffle shove it. Just to turn the board back around. Oh, front blunt, kick flip, fakey. Front blunt, backside flip, I should say. Back three, almost over rotated on that three. Amazing skating, one fall, really hard tricks. Really hard tricks, I think he made up for it. Front blunt, kick flip, back three. This is definitely gonna be a pretty good score. Back three lip to start it out. And then picture perfect hard flip. Nice. And then this in the middle of the run. Front front kick Beautiful. 
That spun so fast. That might be one of the better one fall runs we've seen. Yeah, great recovery after that fall. Dyke with a 7.8, a great score for a run with a fall. Tommy Finn, he's in. Oh. Not only front board, just getting away from him. And that's tough to come back from. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging on. Scary move, fakey 50. Very scary move, but did that well controlled. Let's see what he ends with here. Signature, Tommy Finn, back nose blunt. That first fall is so hard on the first fall. First trick, and then, but getting that back when he knows grind all the way around. Fakey 50, the big rail. Something to build on for the next run. Six point two. In next, hometown favorite, Yuto Horigome, Sean Molto pick. You don't know what you're gonna get from him. It could be anything. Every trick is possible. So far, same start to his run that he did in the knockout round, which is smart, because he got it. But everything looks perfect right now. There's no bobbles, everything he did exactly how he wanted to do. He settled in. Oh, there we go. Nolly 270 backboard. Bolts. That's what you're talking about. He got sketchy in the knockout round. This run was perfect. Yeah, in the knockout round too, he didn't do the Nolly 270 backboard. He did it to switch back lift. So this should be a better score. That was, everything was perfect. Nolly backs on 80, switch front 50. Miss, Nolly 270 to backboard. Such a blindsided, scary trick to do and then to end it on this tray flip 50, perfectly locked. So Daiki Ikeda in first with the 7-8, Yuto is going to outdo that score by how much? By a lot. By a lot. <laughs> 9.3. And he's just getting started. Just getting started. <laughs> Kelvin's thinking, yeah. hmm, what am I going to have to do to match that? But first, six time. SLS Super Crown champ on deck, Nigel Houston. Came through huge in the knockout round. Just for one second had us thinking, can he do it? And of course, he did it. Oh, oh my sketch. God. That was very sketchy. <laughs> I like that. Front blunt. What a hard angle to make that carve into the backsmith. Packing the tricks into this line. Another one, carving the bank. A nolly back 180 nose grind on the big rail in the middle of the run. Look at how many tricks he's already done. Leave no obstacle unskated, Nigel Houston. Still time. That was all toes in the backlit and on the landing. 
He almost pulled it off. What a run. What a run. Still going to be a solid score. I think he may have done more tricks in that run than anyone's done in 45 seconds on this course. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it was nonstop. Here we go. All right, he over rotated. Oh, over rotated, but still going to bring it back. He almost made it across the crosswalk. Almost. If you can make it across Shibuya, that's a make. That's a make. <laughs> I was a little on the line. It still should be a great score, but that 9.3 looms large. Kelvin Hoffler coming off that win in Chicago. He locked up the spot in the finals here in Tokyo. So this is the first time we're seeing Kelvin on the course here in Tokyo. That is a good start. Wow. That's a very good start. To follow it up that quick. He's done a lot of tricks as well. Yeah. That's what it takes to win. OK. It's like, how just, about that, Nigel? Just a little look back at <laughs> Nigel on that cab back lip. Great run, solid as a rock, done to perfection, did a lot of hard tricks. It was a little bit of a mellow ending to the run, but he did a lot in the beginning. Back tail, the bank to ledge, straighten the kick flip back lip. That's a risky start. If you sketch out on the back tail, then what? So oh. Kelvin is one of the best at putting a line together. And he proves it. Front blunt, and then he finished with that crook. 8 6, good enough for second. <laughs> Everybody's going to have to work for it. There's the man of the hour, current leader, Yuto Horigome, the hometown hero. Can he hang on and take home the win here in Tokyo? Stick around and find out. We'll be back. This is SLS Tokyo presented by Nikon. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by TrueSkate. Download TrueSkate and unlock the Tokyo course to play like a pro. By Delta Airlines. Keep climbing. By Accelerator Active Energy, the official energy drink of Street League Skateboarding. By Kariuma, old school sneaker, new school ethics. And by Tech Deck, start small, go big. Welcome back to the men's finals of SLS Tokyo presented by Nikon. Here's a look at the 2023 championship tour schedule. Chicago is in the books. We are in Tokyo, Japan, currently heading on to Sydney, Australia for stop number three, October 7th. And then stick around to find out. Super Crown, TPD. You got any picks, Sean? Where do you want to go? Hopefully somewhere warm. Let's take a look back to Chicago in the look back presented by Kerry Yuma.
Yao. We are hyped to be here in Tokyo, Japan for this second stop. Yuto Horigome in the lead. This is the line section, attempt number two. Back to the top of the order with Jamie Foy. He's currently in sixth. Great start, all day, 180 switch crook. Switching it up a bit, front crook down the rail, decides to fake five up. Jamie putting it together. Definitely a simpler run than we've seen from Yuto, from Kelvin, from Nija, but he can pick it up here. Oh, just trying to get a score on there, but. <laughs> And that's what you got to do to try to contend with these guys. 180 switch crook was perfect. Another thing, too, is Jamie, he has the tricks, the single tricks, to go four for five. He's going to need him. Yuto Horigome isn't going to make it easy on anyone. No. I don't think Nyjah Houston is either. Oh. 6.5, an improvement over his first run. Good enough for fifth. The new kid in next, Daiki Ikeda. Two seventy lift. Hat stays on this time. The hat stays on. His first run had one fall, and that was the trick. He sticks it, kick flip back tail. Wow, such a good hard flip. Perfect. Oh, so close. If he could just put run one and two together. Voltron him. He was on his way to bumping up that seven, eight. Not gonna happen. Strong start, back three lit. Hard flip is perfect. He has a mean hard flip. Six point nine. Tommy Finn, second run. A lot, a lot more solid on the Nolly front board. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Not fair. Still time. I don't think there's going to be enough time. No. Mm. Oh. Kicky Crooks at the buzzer. 
Tommy Finn. Um, too much time wasted in that yeah. run. Yeah. He's had that happen a couple times. Yes. Board shooting across the course. But that, Love picture that. Six point two was his first line score. This one will probably be a little better. That's a surprise. A little better. It's that kick flip crook goes a long way. True, good finish. Yuto Horigome up next. Leader. Coming off a 9.3. That came too easy. Average line score, 7.8. Top score, 9.3. So that's right here, right now, 9.3 tonight. Top line score. Oh. Bumping it up. Just <laughs> made a business decision on that switch, Bixman. Incredible. That was an amazing run. I, I'm curious. So he did the Nolly back 180 switch 5 0. Yeah. It, but it wasn't, his first run just seemed more solid. But it is an upgrade. So he barely missed the grind. He didn't do the switch big spin after, but the Nolly 270 backboard was perfect. Nikon replay, Trey flip. It, yeah. Ish. I see what you're saying. Yeah, after the Nikon replay, you kind of see it just wasn't as perfect. Wasn't as precise as his first one. 9.3 Uto standard. <laughs> I don't know how I don't slip out. I'm yeah. just really good. <laughs> 8.9. So, you nailed it. Yeah. It's funny, 8.9 is a throwaway for him. Nigel Houston. You see him. He's in his zone. So does he do the exact same run and finish with the cab back lip make? Absolutely. Because yeah. the run is solid. Uh. It's going to make it tough. He's moving into single tricks. Love that. Calling it. Yeah. Run number two. Nigel Houston. He's going to stick with the 8 2. He does have a lot of tricks. That is absolutely right. Five point eight. No surprise. <laughs> Second place, Calvin Hoffler getting ready to drop in. We're actually able to catch up with Calvin before this event. Check it out in this pro perspective presented by Cup Noodles. Great, you know, like when Trinity is always like a dream come true, you know, but like I feel just like to be 
in the league, you know, like to be skating with the, like your friends and like everything there uh, makes me happy, you know, like if I win, it's okay, if not, you know, podium or like finals, I'll be there. Yeah, there is a big win for, for me. I have some new tricks coming up, you know, like I've been working on my new tricks like been a long time. I think it's the time to like try like new things, you know, like so on this course I'm gonna try at least like all my new tricks, you know, like all like five, five tricks on finals, all new tricks, you know, so man, I've been traveling so much, I've been filming a lot in the streets and just been working my hands off since then, you know, like so no, never stop. So just been skating and having fun. Calvin doesn't quit. Calvin's a fighter. Whether it's in general in his career coming back from injuries or whether it's in a run after a fall, he gets up and goes. No excuses. There might be one good excuse, though, here tonight. His name is Yuto. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. There's one thing that Kelvin has proven in these contests is he will take his time. Yeah. He will skate on his own pace, for sure. I love the, the sweep in the rocks yeah. out of the way when you know there's just nothing down there. He's definitely Colin giving Lanto a headache. So final line of the weekend coming up before we move on to single trick attempts here in the men's final. Kelvin in. Oh. Kelvin out. Still going. <laughs> Remember that thing I said about being a fighter? Yeah. Just kidding. Well, yeah. You know, it's hard to beat an 8.6. You might as well just conserve your energy. No, I, I agree. He is comfortably in second over Nija. Not very happy right now. But pretty far behind Yuto, seven tenths of a point. Maybe there were rocks in the way. Yeah, maybe. This is SLS Tokyo presented by Nikon. Men's final. Yuto Horigome in the lead. The line section is in the book. Single trick still to come. Can Calvin Hoffler do it again? Or will Yuto Horigome do it in front of his hometown crowd? Stick around and find out. Okay. Yuto, can't be stopped. The Nolly big spin back tail just out of nowhere. The Nolly 270 Switch Smith. So many tricks to choose from and nines for days. Taking a look at the re rack. Lines are in the books, single tricks still to come. Tommy Finn will be first in, then Jamie Foy, Daiki Ikeda, Nigel Houston, Kelvin Hoffler, Yuto Horagome. The best of the best right here, skating in Tokyo. And here are the basics presented by Tech Deck. There are two sections to Street League, the line section and the single tricks. Two 45 second line attempts are in the books. Still to come, five single trick attempts. The top four scores count towards a skater's final score. Maximum of one line score, but it's not required. You can use all four single tricks if that's the way it goes. I think Yuto's gonna wanna hang on to that 9-3. Kelvin may wanna hang on to that 8-6, but everybody's gonna wanna get rid of everything else. Tommy Finn, in. Oh. 
Backside flip, nose grind all the way around. He could have just plopped that thing down to Fakie and taken it. Um, uh, I think he knows what the rest of the guys are capable of. True. Jamie Foy in next. He's in fifth. It's got to be hammer time. Signature Foy trick. Front crook popping it to front feeble. I love that. He did it. Uh, he did it really quick, which was sick. He held on to the front feeble for a long time. This Ollie in front crook and popped it into the front feeble. Split the rail. Just smooth. Jamie, one of the three skaters here in the final who hasn't won an SLS stop, getting an 8.4. That's a great score. Daiki Ikeda, brand new to SLS. Yes, we saw him in the Select Series before, but this is his first ever official championship tour stop. Straight to the final for Daiki. Here we go. Such a good fakie frontside flip, especially if you look back to the one he did in the knockout round. Yeah. <laughs> this one was definitely a lot more flicks. Caught a little higher. Love it. Such a hard trick to do, and he did it perfect. Frontside half cap flip down the big section. Eight point two. Good score. Nija, Houston, now in fifth place. There we go. Go. Nolly heel, back lip, coming out forward. Talk about that trick. I mean, he's been running this one for a while. He's so comfortable with it, but. Just did it so perfect. Nolly heel turning your back to the rail. He locked on pretty high too. Watch this. Flicked perfect. Yeah, I mean, textbook. Said it himself, you gotta land tricks. Not a lot of people, oh. 9.2. Good start. That puts Nija right back in it in a huge way. Current leader. First skater to really put down two huge scores. Look at this, Nolly heel. Right in the back lip. I love how he brings it back to regular too. I feel like it's always a little harder to come back to regular rather than keep your shoulders turning to fakie on the Nolly heel back lip. Kelvin Hoffler in fifth. An 8.9 moves him into the lead. It's going to take his time. Okay, Lanto, another little look over there. <laughs> Trying to go back for some of that Chicago magic. Cab back tail is what won it for him there. Just locked in a little too upright on that one. Utah. Oh, come on! Because here's how you do it, Nolly. Nolly, 270. Switch back tail. 
Perfect. Perfect. So fluid. Got the truck on there for just a second, but I didn't see that, but now I did. I mean, that has to be a nine, yeah. 9.3. Uto now with two 9.3s, 18.6 overall score, 1.2 over Nija. And Nija knows it. Tommy Finn. Down in sixth. Mm. Fakey flip, not quite. Those wristbands been flying off. Jamie Foy. Skater stats. 73% regular, 25% fakey, 1% nolly. Zero switch. <laughs> it's gonna keep it that way. Oh, going for that 25% fakey. Fakey front crook on the knee consign, so sick. I know he prefers the round rail, but pinched it nice on that out ledge. And the drop. Whoa, fakey Manny out. <laughs> a little bit of a wheel bite. That Nikon sign is no joke. Who designs these things? <laughs> what are you trying to do to these guys? Josie. Trust me, Josie hears it more than anybody. 8.6. Jamie Foy. Daiki. Back in. Dyke and Kelvin battling the cab back tail now. What's what's Nigel got planned for us? Oh, looking like a switch heel something. I don't know if he's going switch heel lip, switch heel tail. He has a switch heel crook too, which I think is one of the sickest moves. Switch heel tail. He's feeling it. That was beautiful. He's got an 8.2, a 9.2. He's going to add another huge score. Going to add another nine. Here we go. Switch heel front tail, as good as you can do it. Definitely another nine coming in. Nine point four this time. Nigel Houston in the lead, 26.8. He has three scores on the board. We'll see what Uto has to say about it shortly. Switch heel, front tail, down, 11 stair rail. One try. First try. Over and out. Move on. Kelvin in next. He knows he's just got to make this right here. Ooh. Oh. Now there's pressure on Kelvin. He has to make all three of his next tries to have any chance. He can do that. He's, a, he's the best trickster. He's consistent. 
But if, what next? Does he go back for the cab back tail? We'll see. But first, Uto. What does he do to answer Nigel Houston? Oh. Is that switch 180 to feeble? Yes. Weird and amazing. In my head, I was just expecting it to go to crook. So I thought he messed up at first. <laughs> Look at this. Switch 180 to feeble. Who does that? That's the Chris Cole trick, but switch. You're right. Look at that. A, a grapefruit. A grape, switch, switch grapefruit. Grapefruit. So we're going to look at another nine club, 9.1. Yuta Horigome back on top, 27.7. Nine tenths of a point ahead of Nija. What a final this is so far. More still to come. Download True Skate on your mobile device and enter the live SLS Tokyo event. Complete all missions in the event to unlock a virtual replica of the championship course. Play now to skate the same course as the SLS pros. Back to the top of the order. Third attempts, Tommy Finn. Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful fakey flip. Just bobbled on his feet when he caught it. Jamie Foy in third. A 4.3 moves him into the lead, but only because he'd be the, the first skater to have four scores posted. Oh, that's a heavy trick, fakie back tail. He's trying to get to that front side half cab, back five. Oh, was he, is yeah, that what he's doing? I just okay. think he didn't get the, the pop. Daiki Keita. He's got to make two of his next three, at least. There we go, cab back tail. The power slid out of that landing, that was sick. Oh, he went a little susky down. And a little bit. They gave it to Nige, or, uh, sorry, they gave it to Yuto when he did Nolly. Eight point seven. Daiki moves into third place. Bumps Jamie Foy off the podium for now. In next, Nigel Houston sitting in second place. Needs a one to move into the lead, but again, he'd have four scores on the board. Yuto currently has three, so everything still up for grabs. There's that trick you're talking about. Switch heel, switch crook. Just. Missed the aim by a little bit. Kelvin has to make all three of the next three attempts. And they gotta be top notch. Nines. Okay, Sean, Kelvin's the only skater who didn't come through the knockout rounds. 
fresh on the course in the finals. Is sometimes that a thing that can work against you? I mean, on his level, I don't think it should. I just think he's not having a great day on this course. He looked solid in practice. It's just not coming together for him. Let's see if Uto can go five nines in a row. Oh, oh! the U tornado! U tornado in the flesh. <laughs> I I really didn't think we'd see that. No, I didn't. I mean, I guess I did kind of call the hub out, but I didn't see him try that at all. That is insane. Here we go. You, toe, nay, toe. You, tornado. Ollie, 270, no slide, 270. That's crazy. Broke the internet with that one and then does it first try in the contest. Nine point five. 37.2 overall score. I mean, he has four nines, well up in the nines. Yuto making this Tokyo crowd. He's making quick crowd. work with this Tokyo contest. Yeah. He could he could probably go home right now. I think. Hand him the trophy. I let's think bounce. He's pretty done. Tommy. Let's get it. Oh. He's confused right there. Jamie Foy in fourth. I think it's a, a fight for the podium for some of these guys now. Uh huh. Oh. Again. Daiki. In third, a 2-2 two -two moves him up over Nija. Quick song change. Yeah. Oh, the 540 lip slide. 270 lip, 270. There's a bunch of 540s going on. It's going to be a big score. 270 lip, and then he just pins it to the ground and pushes it around. Look at him just spotting, spotting where he is all the way around. Just keep turning those shoulders. Good work, Daiki. Daiki trying to up that paycheck. Get him, Sinclair. What's it going to be? Nine point three. And Daiki, just like that, becomes a member of the club. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the club, young ledge. <laughs> Stoke himself out. Daiki now in second place. Nige is not phased. 7.3 moves Nige into second. 
Oh. <laughs> with that, that's. Find out. We'll see. We'll see how it all reshuffles. Kelvin Hoffler. This is for pride. This is for Brazil. This is for the homies. This is for skateboarding. Wow, the back lip. It's pretty sick. Yuto coming in next as a 9-5 on the board from the U Tornado. Let's take a look at all time highest scored single tricks. Nigel Houston and Shane O'Neill share the honor of 9.9s. Sora got a 9-8. Shane 9-8. Nigel 9-7. Lowest number on that screen is a 9-6. Yuto still isn't on that. With everything he's done, how is he not on there? But if anyone can do it, it is Yuto. I mean, he's been creeping up right next to it this entire contest. Look at that. 9-3, 9-1, Where do we go from here? I think Yuto just tries to make history. He tries to get on that, on that all-time scoring leaderboard. Oh. <laughs> Nolly Heel knows. Shove it out. Big spin out. What do you call that one? Shove's totally fine. So, yeah, that would have been. That would have been another one. I mean, sure. Yuto is definitely chilling. Let's get him a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Final tries here in the men's final. SLS Tokyo presented by Nikon. Rerack. Everybody on this list is now officially fighting for second place. Yuto Horigome has won SLS Tokyo in front of his hometown crowd, making his year even better. You know what he's won so far? Everything. Everything. <laughs> he won Tampa, he won X Games, he won Uprising. Now he's won this. The Super Crown awaits, Yuto. Tommy Finn coming in, trying to stick one trick here in the finals. <sighs> Thank you, Trey. It's a fakey windmill. Tommy Finn. Good performance by Tommy, making it into the finals. And first time in a while. Kelvin taking his time. That is rare to see all those zeros for Kelvin. Yeah. Started out strong with the 8-6. First line. At second line, I think, must have uh, gotten his head. Or skateboarding is just really hard. Just happens sometimes. Kelvin Hoffler not going to follow up his win in Chicago with another one. Because that pesky Uto does it again. <laughs> Jamie Foy in fourth. A 3.4 can get him on the podium. Never been on the podium in his career. Oh, and he's not going to get here in Tokyo either. The podium is officially set as we work our way 
through these final attempts. Nija, Daiki, and Yuto still to skate. It's a matter of whether or not Nija stays in third or can bump his way up into second. It's going to take a 7.3. I have a feeling he's not going to play it safe. No. He, he's going to try to make this right here. Oh. And that's going to do it. Nija Houston is going to get third place. New blood, Daiki Ikeda is going to finish second. And Yuto Horigome already locked it up. What are we going to see from Daiki Ikeda to shut it down here in Tokyo? Oh, cab back tail, big spin out. It's a trick he can do. It's not going to matter. Congratulations goes out to Yuto Horigome with the 37.2. A 9-3, a 9-3, a 9-1, a 9-5. His lowest score is that 9-1 he's trying to drop on this last attempt. <laughs> and he might. Oh. Yuto does it again. And Nija Houston finishing third. Second stop in a row. But the new blood, Daiki Ikeda, coming up strong here in Tokyo. Top two skaters from Japan. What a day for Yuto Horigome, the 2023 SLS Tokyo winner. <laughs> Everybody's getting their photos with the chant. I want my photo with the champ. <laughs> Andrew's going to get his photo. <laughs> Might have to go to Beat Cafe for that one. Congratulations once again, Yuto Horigome, winning the SLS Tokyo Stop, presented by Nikon. We'll be back right after this. We are live in Tokyo, Japan at SLS, and we're about to kick off the single trick section. Our first skater in is going to be Muto Horigomi. All right, here we go. Coming up, Nolly. Whoa! How did he do that? I don't even know what we're calling that. That trick is unbelievable. Ooh, that's the Yuto slide. <laughs> That's the Yuto copter, dude. Well, technically, it's a Nolly 270, no side 270 out. No, nah, that's too long. It needs to be snappy, dude. All right, we got to head down to Yuto to find out what he's calling that thing. Uh, you tornado. Damn, that's fire. It's a nine club for sure. He should have flipped into it. Let's be honest, he should have flipped into that. Street League Skateboarding has been brought to you by Nikon. By G-Shock, the official timekeeper of Street League Skateboarding. By True Skate, download True Skate and unlock the Tokyo course to play like a pro. By Delta Airlines, keep climbing. And by Rumble Sports, download the Rumble app today, your home for exclusive SLS content. Welcome back to the 2023 SLS Championship Tour from Tokyo. Here are your final standings with Yuto Horigome doing it again, getting it done for Japan. 
along with Daiki Ikeda in second and Nigel Houston rounding out the podium. And Andrew is with our winner. Yuto, how did it feel to land the U Tornado for the first time in competition on your first try? Oh, I'm very super happy and super surprised because like I never landed it like first try, like always like, like so many try, like been practiced super long, like I'm super happy I bring uh, this trick in uh, contest and like in Tokyo too. This isn't your first time winning SLS, but what does it mean to you to win in front of your home country of Japan? Uh, like, SLS Street League is like uh, one of the like, biggest contests, and uh, I'm super happy skating with uh, all the homies, everyone killed it, and then uh, I skated super good today, so uh, from the, all my family, friends, all the crowd fans are like, super happy. Congratulations, Yuto. Back to you. Congratulations to Yuto. And with that, the highest scoring trick presented by Accelerator Active Energy, of course, the U Tornado 9.5. Yuto Horagome, again and again, the best. What an epic day of skateboarding it's been here in Tokyo and the men's final. Congratulations to all the skaters that made it, but especially Yuto Horagome for taking the win. So for Sean Molto, Andrew Cannon, and everyone at Street League Skateboarding, I'm Paul Zitzer. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time from Sydney.